We ready? Obviously, great win. Second half, we were tremendous. You know, I thought we weren't aggressive enough in the first half. We turned it up in the second half. We've got great athletes, you know, and when you press and play hard for 40 minutes, it just kind of wears teams down. And I thought our pressure in the second half was was much better. Um, give Alex Fudge a ton of credit. He saved our ass in the first half. Um, if he doesn't cut and make, some, make that three and shoot well, I mean, he made a huge one and one um, to get it from seven to five when it was kind of running away from us a little bit. And uh, I thought Fudge did a tremendous job. Uh, he showed flashes of, I tell him all the time, you got to turn potential into production. He showed flashes of his production tonight. He was he was great. And then obviously Days did what he did. And in the second half, man, I mean, Tari, we found a mismatch with him. We, had to, we were playing smaller. We found that mismatch with Tari, and Tari just went to work. And then Brandon Murray, we were able to run a counter off the mismatch play and get Murray get Murray going after he saw that free throw go in, saw a shot go in. So um, just just a total uh, total uh, total team effort, and um, it's a good win. They're a good team. They're a good team, and we got a better team coming in on Monday. Um, so we got to turn it around quick and get ready to go Monday. So once again, we had 1,600 plus students here, I think, tonight, or around 1,600 students, which which was great. I know Friday night there was a bunch of formals and stuff going on. So um, really, really, really pleased with the student turnout and the overall crowd. The crowd crowd helped us out a lot in the second half. When you press and play with energy like we do, you, you kind of feed off the crowd. So it was great to uh, uh, great to have a, a, another good crowd, especially on a Friday night. So it's a good team we beat. I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Kind of touched on it a little bit there, but you outscored them 52 to 22 in the second half. Can you kind of talk about what you saw at halftime and what kind of led to that second half surge? Well, I can't really say what I said at halftime. You probably wouldn't want that. It's not suitable for media. But, um, you know, I just thought we weren't playing hard enough. We were kind of hoping they would miss instead of forcing them to miss. And then we weren't able to turn defense into offense. We were, we were playing too much one-on-one. -on -one. We weren't taking advantage of the mismatches that were there. And so it's a lot easier also for me in the second half, the offense is in front of our bench. So I can control the offense a lot better and I can tell them where to go and when to screen and when to slip and all that. And then the front of the press is also in front of our bench. So we can pick up the aggression in the second half. And so all that stuff, all that stuff helped, us, uh, helped us tonight. Uh, Gaines, Eason, and Fudge had 39 of your 43 off the bench. What's it, I guess, like this year to have actual scoring options off the bench, guys you can put in and you feel that they can produce and not yeah, just and be Gaines out there? Yeah, and Gaines was two of three from three. Made yeah. some made some really, really, uh, really, really big threes for us. And you know, we've got we've got like I said, we've got good depth of, of our our group's got good depth, and when we play hard and we just keep running bodies at you and can make athletic plays. Um, you know, it, it, it just it, it eventually just wears you down. I thought their point guard, 12, he's a great player. He's first-team all-league player in the Sun Belt. I thought he totally controlled the game in the first half, and I let it be known at halftime. Our guards didn't much care for that observation. But I thought, uh, I thought he totally controlled the game in this first half, and I thought he was playing at his pace. And we did a great job trapping him, forcing him to give the ball up, making it hard. They can't run offense if he can't set the offense. We made it hard for him to catch it back. We didn't let him cross the court because they have to cross the court to run a lot of their offense. So we just did a good job of of making it a lot more difficult on him. And I thought we, we were able to control the, the pace and the tempo in the second half. Um, you know, it really seems like, you know, in his first two games, you know, the, the off dribble that Darius has been able to do with his off dribbling and making shots off the dribble just, you know, how how much does that kind of add to his game? Oh, he's you know he's not just a standstill shooter anymore. He can score in the post. Um, he hadn't been able to show that too much, but I mean he can really score in the post. He's worked on his post game. He's worked on playing off the bounce, being able to drive it, being able to finish off the bounce. So he's worked on um, he's worked on all of that. He was in he was in his uh, bag tonight a little bit. That that that. Uh, that uh, turnaround off the inbounds play. I'd like to say that was a good play call, but I always tell people it's the horse that ain't the jockey. So the players make the plays, and, and uh, he, he, he made us look smart on that one. Uh, it was kind of exactly like you thought it was going to be with the sledding. Were you ever concerned late in the first half when they kept? Oh, yeah. I mean, we just had to get to – I was just – trying to get to halftime with it manageable. I knew the adjustments we could make. I knew I knew what we needed to do. It was just hard. They, they had a good press offense. I had to adjust some things in the press. 
I mean, they were prepared for some of our stuff, and I just I couldn't adjust it on the fly. I had to get to halftime where we could adjust everything. And the offense was away from our bench, and so, um, you know, it's just I didn't have everything in front of me where I can control it a lot better. And so we, I just we had to get to halftime with it within within a work workable margin, and then I felt like we could uh, we could do some things in the second half. Coach, you talked after the last game about this being a step in competi- step up in competition for you guys, and this team definitely challenged you all in the first half. How would you describe the importance of having games like this early in the season? And you have another one, like you said, on Monday. Oh, Monday's Monday's going to be a. Uh, I mean, oh, they're so good. I uh, I don't know why I scheduled them. He, Coach McKay talks me in every time to schedule them. He's so nice to me on the phone when he wants to play the game because I'm the only dumbass that'll schedule him at a high major. Um, so, uh, they're, uh, oh, they're, they're really good. I mean, McGee, the point guard is a, is a, is a good player. I mean, they, they almost beat Oklahoma state in the NCAA tournament last year. They beat Mississippi state and South Carolina last year from the SEC. They played Missouri tight. Penson came up to me and said, what in the world were you thinking scheduling them? He had remembered playing them last year. Um, so, I mean, you know, they're, they're, um, they're, they're they're a really good team, but I like I like the way we responded uh, responded today. Now, Liberty ain't gonna get as rattled. It's hard to get them to play at a pace that isn't their pace. Uh, I played them twice when I was the head coach of ECU. This will be the second time we've played them here. It's just it's hard to rattle them. They're a lot harder to get to play on your terms than, than most teams. Yeah, Texas State is one of the slowest teams in the country last year. This year, um, you ain't seen slow till Monday night. <laughs> Could you tell your guys were kind of be being patient to a degree um, with that slow pace on defense specifically, trying to wear, wear Yeah, I thought the first half we played right into their hands. We were way too passive. We just played right into their hands. I thought the second half we had to – We I knew we had to junk the game up. That's why we wanted to press and use the one three one, which we didn't use the other night. I, th- I don't think it's some big secret that we like to play that one three one. Everybody knows that. But uh, we, ha- we, we had to throw them off rhythm, you know. Texas State wants it to be, you know, you come down in the half court, you run your set play against their defense. You know, then they come down and they run their set play against your defense. Like, that's just what the, he wants to – and, and TJ is an excellent coach. He is a hell of a coach. But he wants to run it like a football game where he's the offensive and defensive coordinator. He gets to coordinate all his stuff. And so we had to make it where it was more in the full court and, you know, let the athletes and the speed – I tell our guys all the time, speed kills. And, you know, let that speed take over. How nice was it tonight? I guess you'd say nice, but you, two of your starters got in foul trouble and you had to adjust and the bench had to adjust. How nice is it to have a game like this where things don't go perfectly early? I mean, and you you have to adjust and guys have to adjust and your bench comes through. I mean, what's the advantage of that for you this stage? Yeah, it's what you said. I mean, Fudge, Tari, and Gaines came through for us big time. I mean, um, Fudge and, 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 um, and, and Tari, you know, Fudge was huge force in the first half. Tari and Murray in the second half. Gaines made some good plays. Um, you know, Days was steady. And so, you know, we've got, we've got good depth. I told you we got, I mean, we got, we got good players now. It's not like, I mean, we got eight, we got eight very, very good players. Now that's different. We got eight, you know, we got eight good players. They're, you know, they can, they can shoot, they can score. Well, we're 10 of 18 from three. Days only hit three of them. So we had, you know, we were, uh, you know, the other guys combined for seven. Murray, I believe, was three for four. Gaines was two for three. Fudge was one for one. Um, so we had some guys. Tari was – Tari hit one. So, I mean, we've, we've got we've got good guys. Tari had another double-double. I mean, he's he's been phenomenal. He's a, he's a matchup nightmare. You can play him at the three, four, or the five. You can play him all over the place. I mean, he's just a – he's a matchup nightmare. He's talented and – um, he can he can score it a lot of different ways. He makes his free throws. He can get in there and he can draw contact, draw fouls. He's so rugged and and uh, makes his free throws. I think you had uh, at least another five uh, shot clock violations. I love um, those seven can steals. You tell? Can you tell seven steals, six block shots? Did you try to impress on them that you had to give a, a give them a dose of their own medicine? Like, I mean, that's what you Well, did. our shot clock violations are different than theirs because we're trying to pressure. What I was trying to impress on them is if we, we've got to throw them off rhythm on offense, they can't – their plays take 20, 22 seconds to run. Like I was telling you on the pregame, they're kind of like Ole Miss. Like Ole Miss takes it – like they got great stuff. They cut. They run it at a, at a high level. But it just takes a while to get through all of it. They got long plays. Like our stuff's more quick hitters and concepts and things like that. 
but their stuff takes a long time to run. And, um, you know, we just needed to uh, we needed to throw them off rhythm, which is what we did a much better job of in the second half. It wasn't just, you know, they were going to go late in the shot clock anyway. We gave up three late shot clock threes in the first half, and, you know, we didn't in the second half. We blocked some shots. We made some athletic plays. All right. See everybody Monday. No press conference before Monday, right, Kent? Yeah, see? See you Monday. Huh? Kent done work on the weekends.